Welcome back to New York Links. Former Prime Minister of Jamaica, PJ Patterson, is in town this week for the CIN Lecture Series. The CIN Caribbean Lecture Series showcases an outstanding personality who has made a significant contribution to the political, economic, and social advancement of the Caribbean region. The lecture was held at the Schomburg Center for Research in Black Culture in Harlem. We sat down briefly with Mr. Patterson to get some details on his visit and his plans for the future. Dreadless Ras here, and today, we are speaking to the most honorable P.J. Patterson, former Prime Minister of Jamaica. Good day, Mr. Patterson. How are you doing today? Doing very well, thank you. You've earned the distinction of being the longest serving Prime Minister of Jamaica, 14 years from 1992 to 2006. How does that make you feel? Well, until then, successive administrations had been confined to two terms. The people of Jamaica obviously were very satisfied with what had been accomplished in the first two terms, and they gave us a mandate to continue during a third and a fourth term. It's been an honor and a privilege to have received the mandate of the people to serve, and we have endeavored to transform Jamaica to make it a society that can not only survive but compete successfully in the modern global economy. So you have retired from politics now and from what it seems to to us in the United States here is that you are now probably the unofficial cultural ambassador for Jamaica. We've seen you on TV, we've seen you on cable, um, taking journalists and so forth on tours of the island and so forth. How did this develop and is this a permanent role? Well, I have retired from public life, but my interest in supporting the national development of Jamaica and indeed the development of the Caribbean region of which we are a part has not abated and I believe that I can contribute uh, positively by helping to get the message out what we have achieved, where we are interested in reaching and what are the mechanisms by which we'll be able to attain our goal. So speaking about national development, you're here in New York this weekend to speak uh, in a lecture series um, for CIN about, you're, you're here to speak to the Caribbean diaspora, the Jamaican diaspora, as to how the they Caribbean can, diaspora. the Caribbean diaspora. We have in the Caribbean as many people living outside of our Caribbean shores as those who live inside. And when we were revisiting the Treaty of Chagaramas, which is the legal instrument that brings together the 15 countries of the Caribbean, we recognize the tremendous importance of the Caribbean diaspora, not solely in terms of what they can bring to bear by remittances, which is the first area that springs readily to mind. But our people have um, developed a great deal of human skills. And in today's world of communications and technology, you can stay in New York and contribute perhaps as much to the development in the Caribbean as could be the case were you resident in our shores. And therefore, the Treaty of Chagaramas provides for equal national treatment for all Caribbean citizens or Caribbean descendants, whether they were born uh, in the Caribbean or not. They can invest, uh, they can take